Underdogs help each other in Hout Bay, where troubled teenagers develop their own life skills as they train shelter dogs. With some basic obedience skills, the canines are more likely to find a loving home, while the kids grow in confidence. Jenna De Silva Pinto founded the Underdog Project in 2011. The inspiration for the Underdog Project comes from living in a community where it's very clear that teenagers from our disadvantaged areas are in desperate need of some kind of intervention to help them cope with the stress of school and what's happening there, social issues outside of school. And I thought, why can't we bring together shelter dogs as therapy partners for kids in need? Like um, all those reality shows on TV, like pit bulls for parolees and cell dogs. And all these, all these programs are taking dogs and using them to rehabilitate troubled people. The teenagers who attend the project find it easier to communicate their problems through the dogs, improving their leadership and social skills while receiving affection from an animal without being asked anything in return. So the kids that are on our program at the moment, the grade nines, we've had the whole year, but um, the dogs are new because as soon as a dog gets adopted, they leave the program and obviously go into their new homes, which is very exciting for all of us and an achievement for the kids who've trained the dog. The dogs are not always easy to train, but they do need to be treated with kindness, which teaches the young people participating empathy and patience, something that Sharif Arena encourages. Jenna appealed to our club for people willing to help out with the dog training side of it. I said to her, I'd be willing to give it a try and see if I enjoyed it, you know, I would stay. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And you can see two of them being Jason and Lorenzo, and you'll see by their performance with their dogs, uh, the difference that it makes. I love to train dogs because they're good and they listen every time to you. The dogs are communicating with us in a certain way, I'm teaching them something and they teach us. It keeps me off the street and, and dogs is very good at listening to people. I come to dog every time, Tuesdays and Thursdays. On the end of the day, we can get a job here maybe. Train dogs, teach other children to train dogs. We can be a leader one day. For my full the reg van onbereis, is it as naxi? As a yuko and dun zei darum iets. As a op die straat te gaan sit en tracks te doen en klom goed aan te vang. We're very proud of what we've achieved so far as a small organization just starting out. Many, I'd say about 90% of the dogs that we've worked with have been adopted. And the kids that we've worked with are opening up to us and what's amazing about that is to try and inspire them to think ahead, to think about their future, what they want to do with their lives and to help them and guide them towards this. And their dog handling skills are phenomenal. It's great to see a project that benefits both human and dog and we look forward to seeing these kids and their furry friends grow from strength to strength together. He just keeps going. That's the strength you get from Bubtail. Bubtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African